Alright, trap red. Get the sunglasses off. Getting down to business. It's 11 o'clock. Got the head off. This is the head. Cleaned it up. Positioned the gasket for exactly how it goes. We haven't gooped it yet though. See, look. This is why it was leaking. Wasn't gooped on either side. Need to put gasket maker on both sides. Before we put that back up, we got the jugs off. Not off all the way. Lift it up. See the see the two by four block. And see the gasket here? Top side's not gooped up right. And the bottom side, the oil orifice on the other side got clogged. So we're gonna dig this orange shit out of this channel. We're gonna make real sure to goop all this gasket real good underneath this jug so nothing leaks because that's what happened. You notice the timing mark is dead nuts on and the timing chain is suspended with the bungee. You gotta have that. Also tore loose the tensioner from the See, this is loose. I didn't take it off though, but you have to pull the pin out. Here's the pin. Don't lose it. It's got the little man guy on it, remember? So, that's how to do that without dropping the whole engine. You got to be careful because parts will drop in. See that orifice down there? Right there? By my pinky? That was clogged up with orange stuff. And that could create a problem right there. So it's good we did that and take that out and regroup it and take care not to get it all over everything. But we have to we have to goop the top side of this and then do the head gasket, put it all back together. It should work pretty good once we get we're gonna take the carburetors off. We'll take the linkage, see how I have it already labeled. <laughs> you know. So we got the choke labeled and uh, the right and the left controls or what do we call rear and front. The rear, the front, front and rear, you know, on the linkage. So you can take it all loose. It's all adjusted right now. It's all throttle control adjusted. And it's kind of a pain to unadjust it and take the linkage loose and take the little gizmos out but in order to break the carburetor down to get the bowls free uh, sometimes you have to but I think what I'm gonna do see the valves up there the needle valves I'm gonna take stuff loose in the bowls and stuff and see if I can see what I can do with it right on the bike without dicking around with taking the linkage loose get this thing running you know get it up on the ground and running see how the ports are for the air intake and these rubber things they're a real pain in the butt to get the carburetors in there and seated properly once the engine head is on but if you follow these steps that I showed you you shouldn't have too much trouble anyways Another quick lesson in motorcycle repair. I'm gonna take a little break, clean up the rest of that stuff on that gasket, and get down to gooping it with the this RTV uh, red silicon gasket maker. It's non-hardening, so it should work. Trapper red.